Hello once again everyone, I am playing with Maui and it's time for another PWMW Reacts. This is part 4 of my Pokemon movie watching series and as you may have guessed, I'm going to be watching movie 4. Forever. Uh, now there's a few things a little different from the previous video that you may notice right off the bat. Um, and I will point them out really quickly. Or if you just want to jump to the very beginning of the movie that's right down there in the timeline video description. Uh, first of all, I got a little pal hanging out here. This is uh, my Suicune pin. Uh, I figured, you know, it's topical. You know, Suicune's here, so might as well. Um, I got a, a few things up here on my wall. Got some stickers. Uh, this is my certificate of authenticity for my... Uh, I wanted to make sure I put out the right words. Uh, for my... Uh, uh, it was the very first uh, Pokemon uh, Mall tour that they did, I, I believe in 99. Um, and uh, I got a Mew from that, which was cool. You know, a legit Mew. Uh, this is from a Yu-Gi-Oh! event, another Mall event. Uh, and this is, you know, just some assorted stuff that I have here. And here's a Sonic thing that you can't really see. My Kalos map, of course. I uh, had that since the last time. And I got some friends back here. Uh, we got some Luigi and Sylveon and Mario and, and, and other assorted friends. Uh, and speaking of which, I am going to... I've been waiting to do this until I finally started this movie. Opening this up from the plastic. I know. Alright, this is an unboxing now. This is an unboxing movie watching. There you go. There's the star. This is, this is the co-star. This is the star. So... This guy's going to be hanging out, and we're going to watch a movie. I guess, I, I don't know where to put him exactly. I guess I'll just put him right here, off screen. And, uh, you know, he'll just show up every so often. Also, speaking of showing up, um, the uh, the background for this video particularly is, you know, a little bit more fancy. I went with a Pokemon font, uh, and I got some sprites going on there. Uh, just to, you know, again, try to kind of celebrate the movie that we're that we're watching here. So this version of the movie is 1 hour, 16 minutes, and 15 seconds. And uh, and it does not have a Japanese title card this time. It actually has the Miramax title card. So, all right, we're going to jump right in. And uh, well, we're just going to have this guy here every so often, I guess. Uh, okay, three, two, one, go. I did that uh, like a, a millisecond late. Later than when I said go, but whatever. I'm sure. I'm sure it won't matter. Alrighty. Oh, also the uh, the little screenshots thingy. Yeah, hey, how's it going? The screenshots thingy actually was fine. Um, there was no like copyright claim or anything, so I think we're fine with the screenshots. I'm going to try to see how much I can get away with and see if I can toss some clips in here. Because um, I do know that when people make YouTube videos and stuff, reactions and whatnot, um, or um, uh, reviews and whatnot, they do have movie clips in there. Audio, video, and everything. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get away with that. It's a little quiet. As close as your imagination exists a magical place where wondrous creatures with incredible powers Ooh. help make dreams come true. Again, I love the background work. It's the world of Pokemon. Wait, this is the song that they used in the first movie. This was when... Uh, this was when all, when all the clones flew away. Weird. I, I do find that a little weird that they're reusing music like that. I feel like each of the movies should be independent from each other, but whatever. Love love me some Scyther. Scyther's a fantastic Pokemon. The rest of them, eh, I'm, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of lukewarm on. Porygon is awesome. Celebi is awesome, too. Gengar. Oh, is this? Oh. I thought this was going to be like the intro to Red and Blue with uh, Gengar versus Jigglypuff. I've seen this guy before. Who says I hasn't? Are we really getting a recap? Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to be honest here. Who's out here watching the fourth movie in this series and doesn't know anything about the characters? Come on. I like this better when Brock sort of like the, the I, I don't know, maybe like, like the narrator or like maybe like the leader or something as opposed to, you know, being a weirdo pervert. Hey, there he is. It's the guy. This this is some this is some very nice work so far here, uh, animation wise. And Houndoom, love Houndoom. I I'm I, I'm just I, I don't I can't remember if I said it before, but I'm a huge huge simp for Gen two. And hey, there's Scyther again. You know, I said hey, Scyther's pretty cool, and he's like, okay, you know what? I'll just show up again. <laughs> <laughs> that was really weird. Who? Oh, yes. I remember this. I remember. I remember who this is. Hi? Noah, what's the voice of the forest? That's the voice of Oh god, whose whose voice is that? Is it Trunks? Gasp. Sounds like trunks. It, it's oh, it's Kaiba, Mokuba Kaiba. I said Kaiba, as if yeah, not 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 the older Kaiba, the younger Kaiba. He's Mokuba. That's right. I haven't heard his voice in so long, but God, it was just like he just clicked as one of those voices that like I I recognize that voice. B is still being being chased. Okay, let's let's be real here though. This is a leg. I'm sorry, not even a legendary, a mythical Pokemon. You're telling me that okay, I I can see the deal with the Hound Hour or the Hound Doom, but I can't take down a Scyther. Come on. You've been giving me the slip for a long time, but you won't today. This guy's voice is familiar too. This is gonna drive me nuts, isn't it? Don't let it get away. Let's go. <clears throat> Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Uh oh. Hey, Blossom. Cool. And all these, let's throw in all these first evolution Gen 1 Pokemon. Just kind of throw them all in there. And here comes another first evolution Pokemon. <laughs> Technically. Or is it called base evolution? I remember that was a thing from the, the card game. Oh, that's not good. Alright. Our friend is in trouble. Quick, find your mom's credit card. Give the first 16 numbers on the front and the three numbers on the back. <laughs> I'm Please don't do that. I'm kidding. Who is this girl? Whoa, calm down. Jeez. Also, my eye is tearing up. It, it does that every so often. Any, in case anybody's wondering why I keep rubbing my eye. Okay. 
So we're doing forest magic. Well, it is the voice of the forest. Wait, what? How did she just know that? Oh my. Who is... Uh, Celebi's voice is probably... Yeah, I was going to say it's probably the same in, in Japanese as it is in English. Because this does not sound like an English voice actor. Just saying. Okay. It's the, uh, the shrine. The, um... I like Swarov's Shrine. Sort of. It looks different. That's a big forest. Wow. Could you imagine if that's how big it was in the games? Good God. It'd take you 48 hours just to get through it. Gasp. <clears throat> oh, Tyranitar, let's go! Okay, there's no reason any Tyranitar should ever look this terrified. What's that thing? A dark ball. What Gas. Allow me to demonstrate. So I did mention that in uh, the previous movie that I said I absolutely love the Dan Green. I with a dark ball become evil Pokemon, and their power instantly increases to the highest level. Come on out, Tyranitar. Okay, so it's a Game Shark ball, is what you're saying. Um. This is also Dan Green, right here, this guy. What is his name again? The Iron Masked Marauder. Hyper Beam Attack. Yeah, it just it just happens to know Hyper Beam now, because you know, game chart. Oh, wow, they really had to like dim the uh, the brightness on that. I love Tyranitar. I mean, hey, that's what Tyranitar does, bud. <laughs> I thought you'd see it my way. I, I love a just j stereotypical villain laugh. <laughs> that's too funny. All right, so here we go with the title card. Pokemon! Forever, eventually. It's, it'll get there. It just takes forever. <laughs> uh, I, I was wondering if I was going to be able to work that sort of pun into that into this video. And there you go. That was like that was very like late nineties, early two thousands video effect going on there. Today we find our friends waiting for a ferry that will carry them to yet another Pokemon gym as they continue their Johto League journey. Brock and Misty are ready. The passengers are hurrying aboard, and it's almost time for the boat to leave. But where are Ash and Pikachu? Ah, that silly Ash and Pikachu. Oh, he has Crobat now. Let's go. Bats and video games. I also have the best Australian imitation voice in the city. A crocodile, huh? Never battled one of those before. Okay, Pikachu, let's go. Okay. You know, I hate that Ash just said that. He um can considering that he has a total dial and all he has to do is, you know, evolve it. This this was always the the the, the thing with Ash. You know, at least Early on, I, you know, I didn't really pay too much attention to the later series, so maybe it stopped being a thing, but I was so bad with evolving his Pokemon. Born to be a winner, Johto, to be a champion. This is a good one. I, I, I like the first uh, Johto um, title theme, though. 
as opposed to uh, this this one. This is for the what was it? Um, Indi what is it? Indigo Champions? I forget. Anyway, oh hey, there's Crobat. He just he just knows that it's Brock's Crobat. <laughs> Crobat's like, hurry up, you 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 dumb dummy. Crobat's not allowed to say anything bad. <laughs> also, I do love the narrator's voice. That that's that's another one that I, I really respect highly, is the narrator's voice. Um So oh man, I was gonna mention something and now I totally forgot what it was because a bunch of stuff just happened. Um I oh I, I think it was I couldn't find the voice for the uh the it, all his name is is Pokemon Poacher. It, it doesn't list his English voice actor, but it's it's God, it's definitely somebody from this series. I just I can't remember. Oh, okay. Okay. First of all, <laughs> first of all, why is he jumping for the fairy? Second of all, I I don't whatever. I'm I'm not ringing. I'm not even gonna. Just forget it. This guy's got the same exact hair as Ash. Ash's dad. <laughs> Are you my dad? And I'll take you the rest of the way. My hey. Great. Thanks. <laughs> right here. There he is. No, Ash. <laughs> no, I can't remember. And it's believed to have the power to purify tainted waters. Oh. <gasps> I wonder if that's going to be important in this movie. Wink. Have you ever seen a Suicune before? Yes, I sure have, but only one time. Hmm. Interesting. Where could he have seen a Suicune before? Hmm. That's a pretty good question. I wonder if I should have told him before he hung up. Hmm. No, because then you'd... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not going to say anything. Uh, but what I will say is that, just like with the previous uh, movie, um, I did watch this one for my, you know, this movie watching stream before I did the face cam stuff. Um, and now I'm redoing it. So, again, it's been a few years, so I don't remember everything that happens, but this is a movie, as opposed to the third one, that I definitely remember a lot more of. But not this particular part, though, where they're just kind of falling like a, a leaf. Bye. You would think that... I don't... You would think that if they blasted off, you know, presumably thousands of miles away, or at least hundreds of miles away, they wouldn't be back. But they're always back. At least, like, for the episode. At least for, like, the movie or something. They wouldn't be back, but no. They always magically come back. Diff Tune Force. That's what it is. This is convenient. This reminds me of, um... Wasn't there a scene like this in The Mummy? With, uh, Brendan Fraser? The first one, I think. Where they did, like, a... They did, like, an airship thing over, uh, a gorge? Or, like, a canyon or something? What the? It's uh, oh god! What is that uh, city called from Gen Three? Um, oh man, I got I got to Google it. I'm sorry. Bidi 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 bidi. No, that's not it. Four tree, four tree city. That's it. I I knew it had to do something with like tree in the name. Four tree city. Yeah, this is like four tree city. I love it. Maybe. <laughs> he... 
Stop. 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 Hello, Diana. Please walk away from him now. Listen for the voice of the forest, and if you hear it, stop and be still, or you will not get away. The voice of the forest? It's an old village legend. Yes, it's a legend and a true one. If you hear the voice, stop where you are. Uh, Th this guy's voice? voice? Thanks a lot for the warning, ma'am. <sighs> Diana, why don't you come too and protect us? Then oh, she'd need protection from here. you. Thank you, Misty. <clears throat> Where's, um, what, what was his name? Uh, Krogunk. Where's, when's Krogunk? Be free. Well, I've seen this effect before. Uh, I wonder what that is. Maybe it's the voice of the forest. Come on. That Misty has like insane insight. What was that? She just knew. No, uh, wait up. She just knew instantly. Also, I love how they walk through the forest for like uh, all of like 15 seconds before this happens. Like, oh, okay, well. Good thing that old lady told us about the voice of the forest, so now we suddenly know. Oh, hey, it's... Kid. And this guy. Hey, it's a kid! I, I, hey, that's what I call him. You can't just steal his name like that. Diane is a great name, by the way. You're gonna be okay. Why'd you do it? That salad Ow? I'm trying to help you. Why is that? Why is At God? Ash needs anger management. <laughs> he always gets into a fight. He's he always wants to use his fists to resolve issues, even when it makes zero sense. He will still do it. Is it Veronica Taylor? Oh, thank goodness. It is. <laughs> it is Veronica Taylor. Fred. Well. That means he came from the past. Oh, hey, it's his uh, little sketchbook. Watch out, Stantler! Did Stantler ever get, like, a... evolution or anything? I don't think it did. Celebi lives deep in the forest, in a place we call the Lake of Life. That's probably where it's gone back to. That's a weird way to say the Ilex Forest, or the Ilex Shrine. And I'm Ash. You punched me in the face. I'm Mokuba. Yeah, yeah, there they are. I wonder where those twerps are. We may never know. Huh? Mm -hmm. 
uh, we may never know five seconds later. If that. Like it's a good thing we crashed after all, Come on, let's get down and tail them twice. Again, the hundreds of miles away, and they they just happen to not only walk in the exact same place where they landed, but also get there really, really, really fast. Tune Force, man, it's 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 something something else. Hey, Pinsir, Pinsir's cool. For it, he walk. Well, they're not walking, but you know, they should be. All right. She, she seemed a little too, like, enamored with the way he was rope climbing there. Pokey shipping anyone? <clears throat> Take it easy. I got a Celebi right here, you know, if you want to, like, borrow it. This is, this is really, like, first of all, this is really, really, really soft. I'm loving that. And it's got beans in it. So I've, I've just been kind of like squishing the beans this whole time. Hey, there he is! Yay! Well, how did... I don't know if I missed it. Maybe I was too busy talking or not paying attention. But how did they know that he was right there? I think Ash just evolved into a primate. We're only trying to help you! <sighs> And then he's going to evolve into an Annihilate, right? That existed. During Gen 2. Owie. Is this like... Is this considered Vine Whip? Could you imagine if this was... If, like, this was... Ow. If this was, like, how Vine Whip, like, sort of evolved over the ages... Or, like, the original Vine Whip was literal vines. Alright, Celebi, calm down, buddy. You've got beans, and I've been squishing them. They just want to squish your beans. Never mind, that, that, just, that sounded weird. I'm telling you, he's really soft. <laughs> really, really soft. <laughs> That's why they want to, that's why they want to hold him. So, I am personally a huge fan of the small, cute, mythical Pokemon. We'll but, you know, Pokemon whoa, hello. I thought that was like a, I thought that was like a berry or something. to go out on a limb. To protect the world from devastation. To unite Why does Jesse's hair look fan more f like fantastic -er than usual? To extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse. James. <laughs> patty cake. Patty cake. <laughs> Surrender now. We're prepared to fight. And yep, there goes that. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, they always are. I, I love how Meowth was like <laughs> Meowth was literally just waiting above them for his his moment. He was just sitting sitting up there waiting. Hello. Oh, this guy's this guy is from yeah he's from Team Rocket. Victory Bell? A wheezing. Okay. And one of the Game Shark Balls. Here we go. Tyranitar? Yep. Oh my. Yeah, that's definitely not something you want to face down. Tyranitar, but there's something funny about it. It's a Tyranitar and it's angry. What's what's different? What's funny about it? That's literally Tyranitar's whole thing. And you guys are frigged. Who are you three? Oh, look at that mask. I've seen him before. Yeah, wasn't he in that Mexican 
wrestling movie? No, me. What? From Team Rocket, the the Iron, Iron Mask Marauder. Are they referencing uh, Nacho Libre? Oh, it's Jack Black. Oh, wait, no, that came out in 2006. Okay, I'm really confused as to what, like, Meowth was referencing there. Also, Sne Sne Sneasel and Scizor, and was kind of combined the two. S Snizzle, Snizzle, Snizzor. <laughs> Oh, I love the... Speaking of reusing music, they're reusing, like, the battle theme from the anime. Do -do -do -do. Okay. <laughs> okay, hello. Hey, Charmeleon. Not bad. Bayleaf. Okay. Yeah, Bayleaf... You know, Ash, I'm going to be honest here. Bayleaf did not sound like the greatest idea against a steel bug and a dark ice type. Well, I think Bayleaf's going to faint. Oh dear. We're gonna use this trope, huh? There it is! I found you! Bop. Okay. <laughs> Maybe if that was like a level 50 Bayleaf and a level 10 Scizor, but I seriously doubt that that was the case. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, he actually used the type advantage. Hello, giant spider walker thing. That thing is really freaky. Oh, is that so? So conveniently Misty hurt her knee or something. So we're you know we're gonna save a little bit on the uh, on the walking animation. Also Togepi's gonna disappear and Celebi turn blue. Ursa ring, heck yeah! It's an Ursa ring. <laughs> so he just uses his backpack like a shield. I don't think so, buddy. I mean, you might as well. You're lost in the fog anyway. What is Teddy Ursa's thing? It, it always has its, its paw up to its mouth because it, like, secretes honey or something? Which that is an uh, that is a fantastic ability to have. I would love to just have honey on demand. This is a really like strangely overwrought portion of the movie here. He walk, <laughs> or like I guess like he dive. It's like the the ferret uh, game from Pokemon Stadium Two. I loved that one. That one was fun. Especially, and when, like, the Master Ball comes down, everybody, like, starts freaking out and going for it. Ah, oh, that's the best. I mean, it's a lake. You know, you might as well give it a shot. So, 
Sir, you're... Why didn't you take... All right. You would think that if he doesn't have an extra pair of shoes and socks, that he would take them off first. But no. All right, this is a, the fancy lake. Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of mons. Hair across, and who else we got? That's new. Nobody. Oh, okay. She's telling me just Terra typed into water. Um. It it I this seems a little weird to me that Celebi again is a mythical Pokemon is supposed to have ridiculous amounts of power, um, but is so it like has like the this trade off where it is nerfed whenever it uses its power I guess maybe its full power and it has to go to this specific lake to recharge I don't know seems seems a little wacky. Not not my favorite uh, uh, idea, or deus ex machina. Wow, oh, thanks, Brock. Thanks for that exposition. <laughs> there he is. He swim. Is it even showing that? I gotta... Hang on. Let me see if I... Yeah, okay, it is. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that that's, like, getting in the frame. Although, yeah, and this guy is so brand new that he, he still has the tag here. <clears throat> I feel like, um, while it is very, you know, it's simple enough for uh, um, Misty to just kind of, you know, hang off of, like, Brock's one shoulder, um... She could use, like, a, I know they, they could bust out, like, a flying-type Pokemon or something and kind of keep her, you know, elevated. Uh, this is really weird. What? Okay. How do you just forget that you have to breathe? <laughs> How do you forget that? And also, uh, again, I mentioned the thing about the shoes and socks, but now these two goofballs just decided to just jump into the lake with all their clothes on. See, at least Misty's doing the smart thing. Ah, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> of course. Celebi does re learn recover, though, doesn't it? My knee's better. Thanks, Celebi. Celebi, BB. Let's see. Learn set. Recover. Yeah. At level 60. Well, at least in, in Gen 8, that's when it learned it. Let's see Gen 2. <laughs> I, wow, you know, I'm totally not tabbing out and looking at other stuff during this movie, I promise. Oh, jump fluff! Heck yeah! It's a fluffer. Oh, interesting. In Gen 2, Celebi did not naturally learn Recover. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. It, it learns it base, like at level 1. It, it's part of its initial four moves. What are those berries? They look like cherry berries. <laughs> They're poisonous. <laughs> They're secretly poisonous to humans. And we're having a good time. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, for real. I was going to say, like, they. It's been like hours or whatever, and they haven't eaten. Those are, like, actual real peaches? They do look like real, actual peaches. Okay, yeah, that's that's not how a real, actual peach works. 
Okay, come on, really? Like, I know these are the villains, but like... Come on. They should be allowed to eat. Or driver. What? God, I eat mm, the jokes, the the just the corn on those corny jokes. Oh, that's so. I I wrote down a couple of things that uh, I was thinking of that I didn't want to forget about. That is actually fantastic. I am curious to see, yeah, what else did he run into? Oh, Blossom, okay. Pony Tarapidash. Yeah, the future's pretty fantastic. Well, well, that was, yeah, that was kind of a dumb thing to say, you silly, dumb child. You... 10-year-old who's been 10 for, like, five years at this point. We didn't... We didn't see his mother, did we? I don't know who she is. Yeah, she worried about him plenty enough in the last movie. Oh my god, is it the bread? It's gonna be the bread, isn't it? Yep. I love that 40 year old bread. Bonk. Um, so, actually, I guess I should save this one for the end of the film. But, uh, oh, Metapod, they're evolving. Um, I, I really, I, I'm thinking, like, that that guy, this, this is, this is now my, um, uh, I, what is, what is the word? Oh, no, um, uh, I, I can think of it. Just give me a sec. Uh, look at all the butterfree. Look at all the butterfree guys. It, wow, aren't they beautiful and fantastic looking? And I totally didn't forget what I was going to say. Can't think of the word. Um. Theory. My theory. <laughs> uh, that that dude is uh. Ash's dad. We just we just happen to see Ash's dad in this movie. That's my fan theory. Wow. Is it is it impressive or is it sad? It took me that long to think of the word theory. Also, I'm out of coffee now. I like how it's, it was just night, and now it's not night. Why, they're best friends. It's like they know each other or something. Wink. <laughs> oh, okay. That's all mossed over. I was about to say, where is this guy? Oh yeah, the butterfly nets are going to be really helpful here. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. So, 
they couldn't just explain it as like, oh, it's a big metal machine and it's grounded or something, you know, so the electricity wouldn't affect. No, it also has to have a force field. <sighs> Zap. That's not nice. This is reminding me of the little, the, like those weird capture pods that they used in the second movie for the uh, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. No. It became a shadow Pokemon. It's like Gale of Darkness all over again. Oh, quick! <laughs> Just get pecked to death by the Pidgeys. Again, Ash always has to fight. He, he always... Oh, he's such a bonehead, is what he is. And yeah, I guess it worked out kind of in this... Okay, never mind. Okay, that's that's a kid. Come on, buddy. That's not cool. My goodness, he just fainted from the pain? What is he, Stone Cold Steve Austin? He would rather faint rather than uh, give up. Because the sweet little Pokemon you used to know doesn't exist anymore. Gasp. <laughs> <laughs> Celebi, get rid of them all! Oh no! Celebi, why? Why? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> See, again, uh, you know, Pokemon of unbelievable power. But it has to recharge in a random lake. Or, uh, not a randomly, but a specific random lake. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, I think I remember this part. <clears throat> Here he goes again. Whoa! <clears throat> oh my. Celebes building a nasty nest. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that that one I'll actually give a little props to. A nasty nest. All right, see you, Jesse. <laughs> I just realized it's a big tree, isn't it? That is that is a ginormous fallen tree. That that tunnel, what was made out of? Owie. As if that's ever stopped Ash. <clears> hmm. <throat> <Huh? laughs> <laughs> Here he comes to save the day. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Suicune. Who just happened to be standing on top of that mountain. There's a, uh, there's a guy I've been watching uh, where... Talking about the movies of, uh, not not just the movies, the Dragon Ball movies, but um, uh, specific like battles and and stuff in the anime. Uh, and I don't know if this is a 
a, a thing, that a common thing that the young people do or say nowadays. But uh, <laughs> Suicune standing on top of that mountain with the camera, like, kind of panning around it. Suicune, you're not in an edit. <laughs> this is not an edit. Oh no! They need to purify its heart. Oh? What is going on? It's morphing into... What is that? Is it Eternatus? <laughs> Beta Eternatus? Oh my goodness, that is horrifying. Wow. Oh, it's like, um, kind of looks like Reggie, maybe Reggie Gygus? Uh, like a demonic Reggie Gygus? Boom! There goes the random specific lake that Celebi needs to draw its power from. No, now it kind of looks like Reshi Ram. No, you don't, buddy. You're kind of a goofball. Now the boss has to be afraid of me because <sighs> Celebi gives me the power to destroy him. With Celebi, I can rule Team Rocket and the whole world if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you know he's gonna lose. This is how you know he's gonna lose. Where this guy forgets his place. And he thinks he's tough now, and he thinks he's the boss. No, you're not the boss. And seriously, if if um, if Giovanni still had Mewtwo, you most certainly would not be the boss. Ever. We Hey, it's Ash's dad. <clears throat> did Did we... Do we know this guy's name? I can't even remember now. Oh, there we go. And they're fine. <laughs> yep, we're fine. Actually, you know what those, uh, the airship also, oh, I love that little hoot hoot walking stick she has. <clears throat> um, the airship also reminds me of the, uh, the airships from uh, Final Fantasy. Oh, his name is Mr. White. <laughs> That's... That's, his name is just Mr. White. Where it, apparently in the Japanese version it was just White. But in the English version they added the Mr. And they're fine. Yep. <laughs> Here he comes! Wait, what? But it... Oh, okay. I was about to say it didn't look like Suicune did anything. <laughs> it looked like it just ran by and Selby missed. <laughs> Which, I guess technically that is what happened. You must have come here to help us out. <clears throat> oh, we okay. Need you to take us to Celebi right away. <clears throat> I like Suicune's voice. It's a, little, it's a little more, uh, it's a, it's a little more, like, deep than I was expecting, but, you know, it's cool. Gronix. Remember how you got one shot by a fake fampy in the last movie? Oh, hey, wow, Onyx officially did way more in this movie than he did in the last movie. 
And now he's going to get one shot by the Tyranitar. Yep. Is Suicune, like, sa Oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought, like, is Suicune saving the Onyx? No. And Onyx was never seen again. Because it becomes Steelix. Oh, hey, there he is. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. Oh, and he's still not out of the fight. Wow. Okay. Again. Doing way, way, way more than it did in the first in the previous movie. Come on. At, at least let Onyx get like a hit in or something. You know, give it like a, a rock slide or you know, a rock throw or something. Oh, he's still not fainted! Oh, and he did get a hit in! This this movie is fantastic now. Wow, and they knocked the Tyranitar into the water. That's it. That's it for the Tyranitar. Okay, on Onyx did fantastic there. That was actually really good. But also, I hope the Tyranitar is fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nani? Oh, hey, Jesse saved them. Okay, that was that was actually really clever. I I like that they added that in. That was good. Also, yeah, she makes a good point, though, that those guys are kind of jerks. Like, she literally just saved them, and they were just like, okay, bye. Hey, dummy faces, why don't you get in there? Oh, okay. That did seem to do something. They're purifying it! I, I never actually played Pokemon XD, so I don't know exactly how you purify a, a Shadow Pokemon, but they're doing it! <laughs> okay, why is why is Celebi even listening to this guy? They 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 really had to like extend the runtime. This was like the one big plot plot point that they had for like the third act, and they were just like, you know what? We really, really, really got to drag this out as much as possible. <laughs> gotta gotta meet that hour and twenty minute runtime. Uh, hello, all these Pokemon that we've seen like ten times already in this film. <laughs> they they just keep showing the same Pokemon over and over. I, I wish there was a little bit more diversity, but whatever. Uh, so while they're doing this, yeah, I did look up the purification process. So it looks like it looks like you catch the Shadow Pokemon first, and then you purify them after bonding with them after a while. You walk around, you battle, uh, you call them, uh, you can give them a massage, daycare. Oh, Celebi. They're, Celebi can uh, instantly purify a shadow Pokemon. I, I, I just, I really, I want to reread this again. In Colosseum, using a time flute, the player can call Celebi to instantly purify a shadow Pokemon. I, I want to say that they added that in because of this movie, because I'm pretty sure that, that that game came out after this movie, right? Maybe, I think, yes, maybe, indeed. 2002, and then XD was... 2005. Okay, good. <laughs> so, maybe. Maybe that's maybe that's what they were going for. They were kind of referencing this movie. <gasps> uh, 
It's short circuiting. Oh, get wrecked, fool. He's back. Yay. Boom. Oh, I kind of wish that would have, like, blasted him off, but whatever. I guess he still hasn't gotten his just desserts. Jesse, you going to be okay? Uh, yeah, nothing else is happening. Just there goes Jesse. I do wonder if that, like, that construct that Celebi made is supposed to, like, reference something. We we're having psychic fun. Oh, oh dear. Wow, good thing that they just so happen to be in the lake. The lake. The random specific lake. Oh, here comes Suicune. Pokey shipping. <laughs> Misty just immediately goes, Ash is alright! <laughs> oh, Celebi is uh, looking a little haggardly there. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's, uh, that's a, uh, a ripened onion right there. Oh dear. It's not working. But why not? The forest is hurt. The water's tainted. The lake is dying. Okay. <laughs> Suikun's like, all right, whatever. <laughs> I guess. I like how they had to tell him that he can do this, as opposed to, you know, he could have just realized it himself and just done it himself. Alright, well, there you go. Clean the water. It looks exactly the same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it looks exactly the same, though. That's not good. <laughs> he just takes Celebi and just starts going... <laughs> work! Work! See? These are those berries we found in the forest. They are indeed. Here you go. They're spoiled now. Oh dear. Celebi looks a little spoiled too. <laughs> That's okay. That's not where its mouth is. Okay, come on. We need the yeah. We need the magic tears from the first movie. Come on, Ash's dad, do something. That is an interesting environmentalist type of message. Humans caused this, indeed. Humans are the reason why, you know, a lot of destruction happens in the forests, jungles, and rainforests, and whatnot. And in Pokemon. So we can do something! Do Come on, work! Work! <laughs> Come on, do something! I love how I can just hear, Radicate! And then here comes this insanely... Nobody ever saw it coming, Deus Ex Machina. Yes, that's the second time I use this term, that term, this movie.
But this music, though. Okay, I just got goosebumps. Whoever's, whoever is vocalizing right now is fantastic. My goodness, this is like what you hear when you're at the pearly gates. This is, this is so good. The music, anyway. It's always insane to me. Well, I guess I guess insane's a little harsh a word, but it always seems a little unbelievable to me that when you have a mythical Pokemon, that there are just other mythical Pokemon too, that there's just a lot of them. And I mean, yeah, I guess that's the idea, is that there's not just one Mew, or, you know, there's not just one Celebi, but, like, man, I don't know, it just seems kind of, kind of wild to me that there's, like, a hundred of them. Okay. <laughs> the music just stops. <laughs> okay, that was that was funny. Unintentionally, but just that was hilarious. Okay, to think this grown man cannot kick off at, like, a ten-year-old boy off his leg. Well, see ya. Wee! I love you, QA, Connie. Wow, who could have seen that coming? C Celebi would use its psychic powers again to make Ash and Pikachu fly, as if you know, it hadn't done that before. Totally. <clears throat> bonk. Oh, and bonk. Mm-hmm. Okay, yep. And he's still rolling, and there we go. All right, awesome. Well, too bad for him he didn't blast off. <laughs> Get him, Ash's dad. What happened to the the others? The scissor and sneezel that he had. That's it? That's all they're gonna do is you're just gonna string shot him up. Blah 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 blah. Wow, that was a, a little too gentle, I feel, for what he did.
But isn't it supposed to be um, um, forgiveness is uh, better than revenge? It looks like Celebes getting ready to travel back in time. Oh. I think it wants to take you along, Sam. I would hope so. Really <laughs> I was just going to take everybody back. <clears throat> but who is this Sam character? I, hmm, I just don't know. It's a big mystery. Goodbye. Wee. Ow. <laughs> okay. I could have gone better. Totally just hit myself with the uh, the giant tag here. This is straight from the Pokemon Center too. That's cool. I love a good harmonica song. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you and Sammy will be friends forever. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Professor. I think so, too. Whoa, wait a minute. How did he know Sammy's name? Yeah, huh. I don't want to miss the boat again. We'll tell you everything when we get to Ballot Town, okay? Fine. I'm looking forward to it. Hey. What's the matter, Misty? How'd Professor Oak know Sammy's name? Uh, we never mentioned it to I him. just said that. That's right. <laughs> Great minds think alike, right, Misty? Aw, oh, ow. Itchy eye. Oh, dear. Ow. Hmm. It seems like it happened only yesterday. <gasps> it was Professor Oak the whole time. Yep. That's the twist of this movie. That Ash met a young version of Professor Oak. We had to wait till it was safe, but now the coast is clear. Oh, <clears throat> <laughs> wow. Okay, that's, like, way scarier than, like, a shark or, like, a hippopotamus just, like, erupting out of the water. Here comes this tyranitar that can swim and is not bothered by the water, apparently, at all, destroying your little raft. <clears throat> so... So it looks like the Scizor and the Sneasel did also get away, but it didn't look like they, like, you know, got purified or whatever. You know, they're just, they're still, like, um, evil, I guess, I don't know, but just in the wild. <laughs> they're, they're wild evil Pokemon. I'm sure somebody will capture them eventually and purify them by, what was it? But, 
Did I really click away from it? Oh my goodness, I'm the worst. <sighs> No, it was sha oh, no, it was shadow Pokemon. Goodness gracious! By using a time flute in Colosseum and calling a Celebi to instantly purify them, a Celebi, which you know now we know that there's like a hundred of them. <clears throat> Alrighty, so while we're uh, floating away in this, uh, like Team Rocket said, but uh, the main characters are also floating away in the airship. Um, beedie beedie beedie. So imagine if Sam. <laughs> Ended up meeting Professor Oak, like he met like his, like his his future self. That would be would that be a, a paradox? Would that be like a time paradox? Uh, also, speaking of <clears throat> you know uh, fan theories, uh, there's the word of uh, of characters being <laughs> other characters' dads. Tracy, Tracy, look at me now. He just now found Professor Oak's sketchbook. And Tracy is really into sketching, too. So, hmm. Huh. Hey, we're not... Yeah, he's not going to expound upon this, is he? Yeah, he's just going to put it right back and ignore it. Nice. <laughs> so, so now we have my theory that Mr. White is Ash's dad. And... Professor Oak is at least related somehow to Tracy. Maybe it's his... Grandpa, I guess. I don't really know how old, canonically, Professor Oak is supposed to be. Like, I would assume, like, 50? Maybe? Yeah, it's gotta be, like, 50, right? Something like that. So maybe... Maybe, maybe, maybe Grandpa or, or Uncle or something. Who knows? <clears throat> anyway. So, while this has... Is it two more minutes of credits? Wow. Um... Put this down a little bit, because goodness gracious, I really had to crank the volume up, because it was really quiet. Um, so this this particular film, I actually gave uh, not that great of a score. Not as bad as the third movie, but it is, once again, if I can find it, uh, I have it as, as number 14. So... Now here's the thing. I, I actually made a little a little edit next to uh, this movie, <clears throat> where for, first of all I, I just want to like talk about the movie itself, where it was very by the numbers. It 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 felt very very. I, I don't know. It, it just felt very standard. You know, like your your sort of standard Pokemon romp, where. You know, we get introduced to this Pokemon, you know, this Pokemon has some sort of issue or, you know, it's it's being chased or being trying to be captured by somebody. Ash and friends show up. Uh, they stop the villain. They save the, uh, the Pokemon in question. And uh, everything gets resolved and everybody lives happily ever after. Um, it just... I, I, I don't know. It, it was not great. Um, it, 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 it felt like it dragged on and it, like I said, it just, it was just very samey, very, you know, usual sort of stuff that you would see in the, uh, the Pokemon series. Oh, that's, hmm, the, I, the special thanks to Harvey Weinstein. Oh dear. Um, oh, okay. And it's finished. Uh. What was the other thing I wrote down? The good guys turning into bad guys trope. I'm really over that. Um, you know, I, I mean, you know, like I mentioned, you know, we have the uh, sort of Pokemon XD style, um, you know, Celebi gets turned into a shadow Pokemon and, you know, has to find its true self and be purified or whatever. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm not a fan of, you know, that trope. It's just so worn at this point. I think when the movie came out, it probably wasn't as bad. Um, but, I don't know, it, it just seems like such an easy, you know, fallback idea. Um, and the resolution was bad. <laughs> it was very, very bad. It, I, I will give the resolution of the story where Celebi is, you know, 
quote unquote deceased. Um, I, I will I will give it that it was a surprise, and I'm sure nobody saw that coming. But it wasn't a good surprise. It, it was very unimaginative, where all these Celebes just pop out of whatever time period they're in, or I don't maybe they're from an alternate universe. Is there multiverse theory in the Pokemon series? I don't know. Um, but you have like a hundred Celebes that just explode out of this portal all at once to save another Celebi. And I don't know, it, 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 what, why, what was the point of showing us the thing about the lake, re rejuvenating Celebi, and bringing it back to full strength, if the lake didn't actually help when it really mattered? I, I don't know, it just, it just, the lake thing, see, the lake thing seemed so pointless, and the Celebes, you know, exploding out of the portal just was an unnecessary surprise twist ending. Um, where we already had a surprise twist with, you know, Sam being Professor Oak. Um, I don't know. It, it, not... Not great. I do like Celebi. I, I thought Celebi was fun. Um, but... Not, not, not super great. Um, it, it was overall a, a decent romp, you know? I did like all the stuff that they did. It, it, it definitely seemed like it flowed a little bit more than the, the third movie, where the third movie was kind of stagnated in this one area and then just felt like the same thing kept happening over and over again. Um, this one had a little bit more adventure. This, this one had a little bit more excitement to it. Um... So that's why, despite my gripes with the movie, um, you know, the positives, I will say that, I, you know, again, the artwork is fantastic. The music was so good. I was so in love with that little, like, that hymn that was going on when Celebi uh, resurrected. Um, the uh, dude, the masked marauder exploding out of the water <laughs> out of nowhere and the music just stopping was so funny. Um... <sighs> I, the, the, the twist ending was okay. Um, you know, I, I am at this point a little well-worn on the idea of, you know, characters that we already know are established in the Pokemon series being involved in some way, shape, or form with the plot. Um, you know, the previous movie we had Delia Ketchum, and then this movie we had Professor Oak. Um, it, it was okay. I thought, you know, the young Sammy was... It was, it was a good kid, um, and he <laughs> he's better at Pokemon than, than Ash because he pulled out a Charmeleon against the Sneasel and Scizor as opposed to Ash using his Bayleaf. Um, so I think what I'm going to do overall here, and this is going to be my first time doing this, is I'm, and this is going to be controversial, I know, uh, I am going to switch... The Celebi movie, which I originally had at 14, I'm going to switch it with the Lukia movie, the second movie, and I'm going to make Celebi my number 11 and Lugia my number 14. Now that is going to be very controversial, I'd imagine, because I, I, when I asked, uh, there was like a tweet that I, I posted out uh, asking people what they thought about the Pokemon movies, I don't think a single person mentioned the Celebi movie. But I do remember many, many times over the years people mentioning Pokemon 2000 and how much they loved it and how much, you know, how fantastic it was and whatnot. So me kind of swapping places with the Celebi and the Lugia movie, I do want to see, I, would, I do want to know what you guys think, how that pans out. Because right now I, I feel like I'm enjoying the, I enjoyed the Lugia movie less than the Celebi movie. Um, and... Yeah. That's, that's, I really, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, go over and over and over again, again, you know, about what I said and, and just, you know, talk in circles, but I, overall, I liked the Celebi movie, and, and I, and I loved the fact that they included a bunch of Pokemon that I really do enjoy. Uh, you know, again, I'm a huge fan of Gen 2, and they showed Crobat, and they showed Sneasel, and they showed Snizor, Scizor, Snizor. And they showed Tyranitar, and they showed Celebi, and they showed Jumpluff, and they showed Ursaring and Teddy Ursa, and I, 
no, not Noctowl, uh, who else was there? Spinarak and Ariados and, and, you know, just all these great Gen 2 Pokemon, and I was really, really happy about that. You know, my inner Gen 2 fan was going, yay! So, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the trigger on that. I'm gonna switch it, I'm gonna make Celebi my number 11, and Lugia my number 14. So this is how my, uh, my rankings pan out so far. We've got Mew, Mew Mewtwo at number 4, Celebi at number 11, Lugia at number 14, and Entei at number 18. That's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you like this video, please give this a like. Um, if you watch this all the way to the end, I really appreciate that. It does help me out and helps grow my channel. Um, I mean, even if you just, you know, you weren't watching along with me, you were just listening to it in the background. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, please drop a like, uh, you know, a, 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 did I say subscribe? I said subscribe, didn't I? Hit that bell. Uh, drop a comment too if you'd like. Um, you know, again, I'd really like to hear what people want, what people think of me swapping the uh, the Celebi and Lugia movie. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's that's gonna be it for this video. Where will our next movie pan out? Which is going to be uh, what what was the um, oh dear? I feel like I should just write it down. What am I doing with my life? Um, yeah, the tagline for this uh, Pokemon Heroes. That's it. Pokemon Heroes, the fifth movie, Latios and Latios. Where will that place on my Pokemon movie tier list? Find out in the next video, which I hope to see you all there. Thank you all so much for watching, listening, and or watching along with me. I will see you all next time. So will this guy. <laughs> Maybe I'll edit this in. Hey, look, here's this guy. He's got wings, too. I didn't even notice that until, like, really later on. He's got his little... His little flappy wings going on there. Yeah, so there you go. Boop, boop, boop. All right.